right. <laughs> I think maybe I had some at home before I came in. But anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, let's see if I got this right. All right. My name is John, of course you already know that, and my last presentation had something to do with skateboarding, so I'm trying to cover the same topic. What I'm going to show you today is how to build a skateboard. I've actually uh, broken it down into, uh, into a, a basic form here. I'm going to bring the table forward. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. I don't think everybody's going to be able to. Now, first of all, I'd like to ask you, who here has ever been on a skateboard before? Oh, wow, that's a lot more than I thought. Okay, great. Um, also, does anyone here have children? I know I do. <laughs> okay, great. Actually, a lot of kids, a lot of kids um, start skateboarding, and um, this will give you a general basic knowledge. Um, usually, skate shops put the skateboards together, but sometimes they do a really poor job of doing it. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how to build a skateboard. Okay. Now these items here that I'm showing you, of course, screwdriver. This is actually a skate tool here, right? Which basically shows all the different mounting um, positions on the skateboard, the trucks the mounting gear, and of course the wheels and everything. And of course the screwdriver. This is basically all you need. So first of all, I'm going to show you the deck. This is a typical skateboard deck, right? Oh, that's great. So this is a typical skateboard deck, right? There are many different types. There are boards made for ramp, slalom, um, what I've been seeing around campus is uh, some goofy looking long board, really skinny or whatever, but uh, this is basically an all purpose type board. And what I'm going to show you is the grip tape. This grip tape is usually best um, assembled at a skate shop. Okay? You do not want to put this stuff on because it's a pain in the butt. You get bubbles all over. But if you do decide to do it, you can use some kind of a pressing material like a wheel and just kind of work your way from the, from the middle to the outside. And of course, the skateboard, you want to make sure that it's got um, some uh, materials in it that are sturdy. I've had boards that have warped before. Now, next, I want to show you an exploded view of the truck. Let me get this off here. Okay. First of all, the truck is comprised of three different areas. The kingpin, which you see here, this is the kingpin, the bushing, of course, here's the top of the bushing. They used to make a whole bunch of different types, all depending on what kind of writing you do. And then, of course, the hanger, right? The hanger has both sides here, and the wheel, of course, goes on. But you have to have, of course, bearings, spacers, and bolts, right? This is basically the only mechanics on a skateboard. So um, you want to make sure that you lubricate the, uh, the bearings you know, once every six months, which I did not do. But um, you, know, you want to make sure you do. Also, the wheels, right? The next part is the wheel. All depending on what kind of riding you do, like if you're doing street skating, you want a softer wheel. If you ride ramps, a harder wheel for stability. Now, as, we, uh, as I show you this, of course the hanger goes on the top, and there are many different types of trucks out there. Independent, Gullwing, there's a whole bunch of new types, Thunder, and a lot of other types that you can buy from a skate shop, and there's plenty of those. Now, first of all, the kingpin bolt goes on. I don't know if everybody can see this. Okay. And then, let's see, I'll do this. You just tighten it down, like so. And then, next, you want to put on the bearings. Now the bearings is a little bit more difficult. There are several ways to do it. Some tools have a bearing press, but it's a lot easier if you just put the wheel on over the top of the bearing, push it in all the way, like so. And then of course the spacer. You want to do this while you have the wheel on because it's a lot harder to do without. And just flip it over, and then press it. And then you can uh, usually reverse the wheels if you'd like, but I usually keep the, uh, the graphics to the outside. Also, I brought an example of uh, speed cream. This is basically like lubricant for the uh, bearings. After a while, if you haven't put it on, you're going to feel it. 
But um, basically, skateboarding is um, is um, really important. You know, whenever you put your uh, your gear together on your skateboard, you want to make sure that you have everything taken care of and that everything's tight. If you get on a ramp and your and your board isn't solid and you don't have your trucks in line and everything else, you're going to spill your guts. Unless you enjoy blood, you might want to make sure that uh, everything's intact. Also something that I didn't mention before are the spacers. I don't know if everyone can see this, but this spacer actually prevents the board from cracking. The boards sometimes, if you leave them out in the rain or something like that, the plies could split. But this spacer here, it keeps the board from splitting and cracking and basically breaking in half. So it's good to have it, and also it keeps the wheel away from the deck, right? So that way if you're grinding or doing something like that, you know, you'll be able to, uh, to do those things. Also, um, I've noticed that, uh, you know, a lot of people, they, a lot of these kids, they go out and they ride skateboards, and they don't really know what they're doing. So uh, they get out there and they try to do kick flips downstairs and stuff like that, you know? But um, actually, only the pros are really good at that kind of stuff, and it takes a long time to, uh, to build up to that. So the safety precaution is to make sure that your kids or you, whoever is riding the skateboard, is, uh, has plenty of training and experience and wears the proper safety equipment. So basically, that's the, the simple basics on building a skateboard. And uh, hopefully, everybody will get a chance to ride one without breaking their neck. And uh, thanks. There.